welcome to another episode of Wellness with Raffles. My name is Bibi Chia and I'm the Principal Dietitian at Raffles Hospital. Today, our focus will be on women's health. Our guest expert today is Dr. Al Suechi. Hi Bibi, thanks for inviting me. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Al. I'm Family Physician at Raffles Medical. Dr. Al, great to have you here with us today to talk to us more about women's health. As women, our body undergo many changes at different life stages. How do you ensure that our health is taken care of at each stage? It's true, our bodies change during different stages of our lives and so does our nutritional needs. Teens years are a critical period. This is a time when our body experience growth spurt and puberty. Teens are advised to consume more calories to support their growing and developing bodies. They also need about 1,000 mg of calcium and 2.5 micrograms of vitamin a day. Girls start menstrual periods during this stage, so it's recommended that girls consume more iron and vitamin C rich food. At about age 25, a woman's resting metabolism, which is the amount of calorie of body needs to sustain itself at rest, goes down, maintaining a healthy weight by gradually reducing their calorie and increasing physical activity is recommended. So what about women who are planning to get pregnant or are pregnant? What should they look out for during this stage? Yes, when preparing for or during a pregnancy, women require more nutrients than usual to support their health and their fetus development. Some essential nutrients include protein, calcium, iron, folic acid. Folic acid is usually highly recommended to be taken before and during pregnancy. Breastfeeding mothers will also require extra calories daily to produce milk. They should opt for healthier choices when breastfeeding, such as lean meat, dairy, and whole grains. What about menopause? After reaching menopause, lower levels of estrogen may cause some women feel weak. It may also increase their risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, stroke, and osteoporosis. Women who have reached menopause should generally lower their calorie intake because of reduced muscle mass and decreased physical activity. We should also take in more calcium-rich food during this stage to prevent osteoporosis. I couldn't agree more. As a dietitian, I often see patients with various chronic illnesses who are not consuming enough nutrients or vitamins. As I shared in our previous episodes, fruits and vegetables contain many vitamins and minerals that are good for our health. They include vitamin A, B, C, E, magnesium, folic acid, and so much more. By consuming the daily recommended intake of 400 grams of fruits and vegetables a day, we can easily ensure that our nutritional needs are met. That's right. On days where you notice that you have not been consuming enough vitamin, consider supplement. Many supplements are developed especially for women, taking their unique nutritional needs into account. Dr. Al, thank you so much for the useful information. I hope the women watching this had as many takeaways as I did. I definitely agree that we cannot supplement ourselves out from a fat diet, but we can go the extra mile to ensure our body gets the necessary vitamins and minerals it needs. We hope everyone has a better understanding about how to care for a woman's health. This has been Wellness with Rebels. Join me in our next episode as we discuss how to strengthen our bones and joints.